Welcome back everyone, it is Mike from Mana Hoarders. In this video we are bringing you a commander deck tech for a Demir commander, Arami of the Dead Tide. You can cast Arami for one, a blue and a black. You get a 1-4 Merfolk Wizard. You can tap Arami and exile cards from your graveyard equal to the number of opponents you have. Then target creature card in your graveyard gains Encore until end of turn. The Encore cost is equal to its mana cost. Before we dive into the deck, let's go over a few key points. First up, the final price for this build came in at $63.11. This does include the price of our commander and of our lands. Now do bear in mind these prices will vary greatly depending on the quality of the cards you purchase, the vendor you use, and a variety of other factors. In terms of power level, I would rate this build around a 5 to 6 out of 10 on the power scale. We did build around a self mill strategy to a degree to keep our graveyard full, have creatures to encore with our commander, and have cards to exile with its ability. With that in mind, we are also including a plenty of creatures with powerful enter the battlefield ability so we can generate tons of value whenever they are coming back from an encore or just when we cast them normally from our hand. Now let's go ahead and dive into the deck. First up are our artifacts. We have Charcoal Diamond, Demir Signet, and Mind Stone, all helping us add some mana to our mana pool. Sky Diamond and Soul Ring can do much the same, adding a blue and two colorless mana respectively. And we have Sundial of the Infinite. Generally when you Encore, you have to sacrifice the creature tokens generated at the beginning of the next end step if they didn't die in combat. Now we can use the Sundial to end the turn, ensuring that these creature tokens stick around. Moving on to our creatures, we have two legends helping out our commander. Sir Conrad the Grim, whenever another creature dies, or a creature is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, or a creature leaves our graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grim will deal one damage to each opponent. And Tormod the Desecrator, a new one from Commander Legends, whenever one or more cards leave our graveyard, we can create a tapped 2-2 black zombie creature token. These next three creatures we have labeled as our bouncers. Cavern Harpy, Fairy Imposter, and Shrieking Drake. Whenever they enter the battlefield, they will allow us to bounce another creature from our side of the board back to our hand. That means we can then recast those creatures for even more value on our side of the board. Next up we have our Killers, Bone Shredder, whenever it comes into play we can destroy target non-artifact non-black creature. Flashback Marauder, whenever it enters each player will sacrifice a creature. Same can be said for Merciless Executioner. Overseer of the Damned will destroy a target creature whenever it enters the battlefield, and whenever a non-token creature an opponent controls dies, we will get a 2-2 zombie. Plague Crafter, whenever it enters, each player sacrifices a creature, and each player who can't will discard. And Ravenous Chupacabra, whenever it enters, we can destroy a target creature an opponent controls. For our self mill, we have Armored Scob, whenever it enters, we can put the top four into our graveyard. Bizarre Trade Mage, whenever it enters, we will draw two and then discard three cards. Body Snatcher, whenever it enters, we will either discard a creature card or exile it. Then whenever it's put into the graveyard from play, we can exile it and return a creature card from our graveyard to play. Crow of Dark Tidings, whenever it enters, we can mill two. Eye Blight Colors, whenever it dies, we will get three tokens and mill three. Gorging Vulture, whenever it enters, we will mill four and then gain one life for each creature card put into our graveyard this way. Mire Trite, whenever it enters, we will mill two and then gain two. Night Veil Sprite, whenever it attacks, we will surveil one. And for the remainder of our creatures, Balustrade Spy. Whenever it enters, target player reveals cards from the top of his or her library until he or she reveals a land card, then puts those cards into his or her graveyard. Body Double, enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature from a graveyard. Burglar Rat, whenever it enters the battlefield, each opponent will discard a card. Chittering Witch enters and creates a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token equal to the number of opponents we have. We can also sacrifice a creature to give target creature minus two minus two until end of turn. Dire Fleet Ravager has Menace and Death Touch. When it enters, each player loses a third of his or her life rounded up. Grey Merchant of Asphodel, whenever it enters, each opponent loses X life or X is our devotion to black and then we gain life equal to the life lost this way. Massacre Worm, whenever it enters, creatures our opponent's control get minus two minus two until end of turn and whenever a creature in opponent control dies, they lose two life. Mole Drifter will enter and help us draw two cards. Puppeteer Click will allow us to deal creature cards from our opponent's graveyards and get them onto the battlefield under our control. And Sepulchral Parmordia will do that, but for each opponent's graveyard. For our enchantments, we have Bastion of Remembrance. When it enters, we will get a 1-1 white human soldier creature token. And whenever a creature we control dies, each opponent will lose one and we will gain one. Court of Cunning, whenever it enters, we will become the Monarch. At the beginning of our upkeep, any number of target players will each mill two, but if we are the Monarch, each of those players will mill ten instead. And Monastery Siege, whenever it enters, we can choose cons or dragons. If we choose cons at the beginning of our draw step, we can draw an additional card and then discard one, or if we choose dragons, spells our opponents cast the target a permanent we control will cost two more. For our instance, Aetherize can return all attacking creatures to their owner's hand. Corpse Churn, we can mill three, then return a creature card from our graveyard to our hand. Dark Ritual will add three black mana to our mana pool. 
Disperse can bounce a target non-land permanent. Doom Blade can destroy target non-black creature. Essence Flux can be used to blink a creature we control, potentially adding more value from any ETBs. Essence Scatter can counter target creature spell. Ghostly Flicker can also blink up to two creatures or artifacts or lands we control. Mental note, we will put the top two cards of our library into our graveyard and then draw one. Negate can counter target non-creature spell. Sinister Sabotage can counter target spell and then we will surveil one. Unexplained Disappearance can return target creature to its owner's hand and then we will surveil one. Unsummon can return target creature to its owner's hand for one blue mana. Moving on to our sorceries, Blood for Bones is an additional cost we can sack a creature. Then we can return a creature card from our graveyard to the battlefield and put one also into our hand. Bubbling Muck until end of turn, whenever a player taps a swamp for mana, it gets an extra black mana. Command the Dread Horde, we can choose any number of target creatures or planeswalkers in graveyards. Command the Dread Horde deals damage to us equal to the converted mana cost of those, and then we'll put them onto the battlefield under our control. Ever after, we can return up to two target creature cards from our graveyard to the battlefield. Each of those is a black zombie in addition to its other types, and then we'll put Ever After on the bottom of our library. Liliana's Indignation will put the top X cards from our library into our graveyard, then target player will lose two for each creature card put into our graveyard this way. Maddening Cacophony, whenever we cast it, each opponent will mill eight, but if we kick it, each opponent will mill the top half of their library rounded up. Notion Rain, we can surveil two, draw two, and then take two. Rise Again can return target creature card from our graveyard to the battlefield. Stitch together, we can return target creature from our graveyard to our hand, but if we have the threshold, we can put that creature onto the battlefield. Tempt with Immortality, we can return a creature card from our graveyard to the battlefield, then each opponent may return a creature from his or her graveyard to the battlefield, and for each opponent that does, we will return an additional creature from our graveyard to our battlefield. Thought Erasure, target opponent will reveal their hand, we can choose a non-land card from it and that player will discard that card and then we will surveil one. Traumatized, target player will put the top half of his or her library rounded down into his or her graveyard. And Zombify, we can return target creature from our graveyard to the battlefield. And last but not least are our lands. We are keeping things very basic with 17 basic islands and 18 basic swamps. And just like that, we have reached the end of another Commander Deck Tech. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and leave a comment down below. Let us know what commanders you would like to see us build around in the future. We really appreciate the support.